Hey YouTube, it's Steve here. It's January 10th, 2015. I got a review here of a gaming keyboard. Also for the vision impaired, the elderly, and anyone else that wants to see their keys without struggling. Um, this is a company called Aula, A-U-L-A. Before we review the keyboard, take a look at the packaging. Packaging came in very, very sturdy uh, uh, paper uh, cardboard box. Comes with a certificate of authenticity, a one-year warranty. I took the styrofoam out. It came very, very well packed. On the back, it has the statistics. USB uh, full keyboard. It has all the numbers. It has all the special keys, pause, etc. Windows key. It has a function key. It has a right-click options key here. Uh, 50 to 55... 50 grams of key force to make the keys move, minus plus 5 grams. Um, you get all of your F1 to F12 keys, escape key, and USB around 689 gram. The keyboard weighs, it takes 250 milliamps to power it, and it's 5 volt DC, standard USB current, black keyboard and 104 keys and the dimensions are the same as a standard keyboard. If you want to know exactly the dimensions, they are right there. And that's the full screen. There we go. Okay. This is a backlit keyboard and that means that between the keys are lit up and the keys themselves are lit up, which is awesome. It has three colors. I don't know if my camera or YouTube itself is going to show the colors correctly, but I will write that in the description below the video if they're true or not. So, to give you an example of what they look like, the colors are deep blue, function 5, cycles the colors, to red, deep Cylon, from Battlestar Galactica red, and deep ultraviolet, from, well, the color ultraviolet. <laughs> Very deep purple, violet there. Press 5 again, it goes back to blue, red, purple. You turn the keyboard off, if you unplug the keyboard, or plug the keyboard back in. If you turn your computer off, turn the computer back on. If you uh, put the computer in sleep mode and turn it back on, it will revert back to red automatically. So, but a quick function five goes right through the color. See how fast I'm doing this? It's not a big deal. Don't worry about that. Don't be lazy. Pressing, <coughs> pressing function eight goes up in brightness. You press t function two, it goes down in brightness. Press two again, it goes off. Press eight, it goes back up. Press 8, it goes to high mode. Press 8, it will breathe. It will pulsate. See how it breathes? That's cool for being at a party. Have your friends over, want to be cool, want to show off, want to be a douche. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, you do that. So press back down and go back to high mode. You're good there. Press function 5, you cycle back through the colors. That's ultraviolet and high mode. Uh, ultra, um, that's deep blue and that's deep red. I tend to use it in red on low. Because I like to use the, uh, the low, uh, the red color. It's easier on the eyes when you're in a dark room. I use this, I use this for gaming. It's also good for people that are elderly or that are over 40 years old, where they have difficulty seeing keys unless they're lit up. My mom and my sister both use lit up keyboards, or they're awesome. More and more people I'm coming in contact with that are just your standard average Joe or Jane are getting lit up keyboards because they're better than non lit up keyboards. This keyboard was around thirty dollars plus or minus. I forget U.S. dollars. Um, it comes with a key removal tool and also eight of these clear keys here. Okay, when you put the keys in, make sure the flat part is facing that way away from you because the other sides are slanted. All right, I'll show you how to do this. Let's say you use the P key to do a lot of stuff in gaming. Well, you put take this key, you press down, it locks in, you pull up, and it pulls right out. And then you take your clear key and you line it up put the flat side uh, backwards put the square in the square and look at the camera and the keyboard same time which is like impossible and you press down and it's in okay let's get a side view here you can see the how high it is it's a standard old school keyboard height they're awesome they do not click they're not clicky keys all right so don't expect it to be the cherry keys, the MX keys, etc. They feel like standard keys that you grew up with. This is what the this is what they look like up close. They're very, very nice, easy to see. 
They're very, very good on the eyes. I've been using this for about three months now. Other features this keyboard has, I'm trying to make this video very quick here, I only got like five minutes left of video time. It has escape key as function F1 through F12 to access the secondary key such as mute, volume down, volume up, play, pause, uh, last, next, track, um, and the gamer PC key. You know what all of them do except for, the, except for the gamer PC key. Let's say you're gaming, you hit the Windows key with your palm by accident, it's going to go out of your game, into Windows, and then you're going to get killed in your video game, you're going to lose. So what you do is, um, you press function, F12, and it will light up this key over there to let you know that Windows key is now disabled. I never use that key anyway, okay? But there's a light now saying that Windows key does not work, won't do anything now on my, on my screen. Um, this is the number lock, LED caps lock, and scroll lock to let you know if you have caps turned on or off. It has a full keyboard, it has number lock here, it has all the keys that you need, which most keyboards nowadays don't have anymore. Um, it has no buttons at the top up here anywhere hidden. Uh, the keyboard actually lights up underneath too. Let me put this into high mode in blue or purple, whatever. Uh, it lights up on the sides all the way around the back. It has a nice glow on the top, but it's not too intrusive. What it does is it puts a nice little glow around your your setup here and not and in the dark on the on the table here. Um, let's put it back down the tad. See how fast these switch colors. So we turn your computer on, it's going to be red, but you can quickly change colors to what you want. Now I use these keys for gaming here, so I quickly uh, look down and get back on to going left, right, forward, backwards, pull my map, uh, to use P for whatever I'm using the game for, etc. Very quickly, easy to change the keys out. Again, you get eight clear keys to customize it. The keyboard's great for anyone that's visually impaired. Anyone that has difficulty seeing the, the keys against the black, like my mom, for example, my mom loves this lit-up keyboard. My sister loves it because she's, well, a girl and she likes pretty things, so <laughs> it's a great gift for anybody, any age, etc. Uh, I use it because A, I'm getting older, and B, I'm a gamer, and C, well, it's just awesome to have a backlit keyboard. That's all keyboards should be backlit these days. I don't know why they're not. Uh, but this this keyboard is so well made, and the quality you're getting is ridiculous. It's very well made. The the price is right. It's around thirty bucks, my, more or less five dollars, like thirty five down twenty five. I don't remember what I got for it. It's around thirty bucks. I got it over Amazon. I'll I will put the link below the video in the description box to uh, Amazon to where I bought it from. Now there's a couple different vendors selling this exact keyboard, and some of them are charging eighty bucks because they know you you you'll. you'll think that's the only person selling it. No. I found the best price, the best bang for the buck, and I'll put that link below the video for you get, to get this keyboard. So click that link right now, go to Amazon, add it to your cart, your Amazon cart. You don't have to buy it just yet, but just don't lose that link I'm giving you, because that's a really good seller that's selling this right now. Um, it's made by the company Aula, A-U-L-A, -A. it's a Chinese company made in China. Very well made. Nice weight. It doesn't move around the screen. It doesn't move around the table when you're playing, when you're gaming. Very well constructed. Very sturdy. I really can't say nothing more about it. I mean, it's just awesome. Really well made. I'm very, very happy. I was at first I was hesitant because of the price, but hey, it's it should be like sixty or seventy dollars for what you're getting. But no, it's around thirty bucks. Um, if you like the effort I put into this video, give me a thumbs up. If, if you have any questions, write them below. Before you write a question. I want you to read the comments, because I might have already answered your question that someone else asked, and also read the description below the video to get extra information that I may have um, said wrong, <laughs> sometimes it happens, I'm only human, or extra information that I forgot to tell you about, okay? Um, what else can I say about it? It's an awesome keyboard, uh, subscribe, to my subscribe to my feed, I release maybe one or two videos a month, uh, I try to do in-depth very in-depth videos. I try to tell you the pros and cons. There's no cons here. It's all pro. Um, and I always give you a, a link to where I bought mine at. I do heavy research on prices to make sure I don't get ripped off. And I always find the best price on, on the internet. Sometimes it's not Amazon. Sometimes it's over at Rakuten or eBay, or whatever. But usually it's Amazon. And I always give you a link to where I bought mine from so you can pick it up too. So you know, I want you to not waste your time. Um, and I also don't want you to waste your money. So, with that said, this is Steve. It's Janu uh, January 10th, 2015. This is the Aula keyboard. Awesome as a gift for anyone of any age 
of any male or female. It is awesome. Uh, and it's USA layout for those that are afar. Ciao. Bye-bye now.